breaking news, Nigerians. Everywhere don't scatter. Unbelievable. Few days to tribunal judgment. See what President Tinubu demanded from all lawyers in Nigeria that got Nigerians talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. During the annual conference of the Nigerian Bar Association held at the the Lodrum Chief MKO Abiola Stadium in Abuja, the president addressed the attendees on a Sunday, emphasizing the need for a change in attitude and mindset. While acknowledging their expertise, he urged the learned legal professionals to teach him, expressing a sentiment of national abundance. Just opposed with prevailing lack, the president challenged the common tendency to fault past leaders and the, the, notion, the nation itself. Rather than dwelling on past grievances, the president advocated for a forward-looking and determined approach. He invoked the idea of collective responsibility, emphasizing that the, trans the transformative journey to greatness begins with the, those seated alongside him at a conference. The president recognized the potential within the nation stating that God has provided what is necessary to flourish. Citing his own record of judiciary reform as the former governor of Lagos State, the president affirmed his commitment to addressing the matter of compensation for judiciary officers and legal practitioners. He insisted that genuine justice reform hangs on providing competitive salaries and benefit to those professionals, setting the foundation for a high caliber legal system in Nigeria. Praising Tony Elumelu, the chairman of UBA, PLC, and Health Holdings for his keynote address centered on economic growth and development. The president lamented Nigerians failure to eradicate poverty and effectively tackle the electricity crisis despite its abundant gas resources. He vowed that his administration would prioritize generating and distributing sufficient electricity to stimulate the economy and improving living conditions. Expressing disappointment at the lack of adequate electricity in homes and industries, the president underscored the importance of uninterpreted power supply, a uninterrupted, please pardon me, uninterrupted power supply in addressing poverty. He maintained that by ensuring a consistent flow of electricity, a significant portion of the population could be lifted out of poverty. The conference saw the presence of notable figures, including the Attorney General of the Federation, Prince Latif, Latif the Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabia Mila, the Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Yet Sonwike, the Minister of Sports, Senator John Enu Ono, okay, and the former Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. The event also attracted past NBA presents and the senior government officials, reflecting its significance within a legal and political landscape. So guys, you've all heard it now. You've all heard what President Bola Ahmed Tinubu have said and what he's about to do, you know, for the Nigerian lawyers in Nigeria. He talked about compensating them with good salary. He also talked about uh, sufficient electricity in Nigeria. So during the annual conference of the Nigerian Bar Association, which was held at the 
Vellingtrom, the chief MKO Abiola Stadium in Abuja. Nigerian President Bola Metunubu, he addressed the attend attendees on, on Sunday. Here, yeah, this happened on Sunday, emphasizing the need for a change in attitude and mindset while acknowledging their expert, expert, uh, he, expertise. He urged the learned legal professionals to teach him, expressing a sentiment of national abundance. Uh, just posed with prevailing lack, the president challenged the common tendency to fought past leaders and the nation itself. Rather than dwelling on past grievances, the president advocated for a forward-looking and determined approach. He invoked the idea of collective responsibility, emphasizing that the transformative journey to greatness begins with those seated alongside him at the conference. The president recognized the potential within the nation, stating that God has provided what is necessary to flourish. Citing his own record of judicial reform as the former governor of Lagos State, the president affirmed his commitment to addressing the matter of compensation for judiciary officers. And legal practitioners he insisted that genuine justice reform hikes on providing competitive salaries and benefits to these professionals, citing the setting the foundation for a high caliber legal system in Nigeria. Okay, guys, you've all heard it now. Let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.